Praise the Lord. Welcome to our Wednesday night church service, midweek service. I'm just giving folks a chance to um, tune in. I see a few people have tuned in already. And um, we're doing it here from home once again because of two reasons. Number one, the cold the eyes and the scary driving condition not not quite but also um the heat the heat the heater is broken at the church and so it's very cold and um we don't want to be in there freezing and we can be at home and preach from home right but um they're working i got news a text today that they are fixing the heater today and it should be ready hopefully this for this weekend services and stuff like that but for now we'll We'll um, worship the Lord tonight, or we'll have church tonight here from home. And so um, I just, you know, thank you for tuning in. And we can still have church. No music, <laughs> but we can still have church, unless y'all want me to sing. And then if I do that, then we most certainly will not have church if I sing. We're probably going to need church if I have to sing for the services. But... We're just going to preach tonight, preach the Word of God, and um, just, let's have a good time. Let's look to God in prayer, look to His Word, and let God help us in, uh, in all things that we do. And so, thank you all for joining us tonight, those of you that are joining us online. We welcome you, and I just want to share the message, and it's taken from the, gospel, or the book of 1 John chapter 4. Verses 1 through 6 will be our Bible reading. And uh, we're talking about being something that is vital for our Christianity, and that is to be an overcomer. But more, most importantly, not just us being an overcomer, but to have the overcomer, and that's what we're preaching about, the overcomer, to have him live in our heart and in our life. And so let's look to the Bible st Bible. Um, reading in First John chapter 4 verses 1 through 6 it said Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God because many false prophets are gone out into the world hereby know ye the spirit of God every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist. Whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already it is in the world. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. We are of God, he that knoweth God heareth us. He that is not of God heareth not us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. I want to use verse 4 as our text. He said, Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. I want to use that as a text for tonight, and, and with the help of the Lord, I want to preach on a message entitled, we're talking about the overcomer. The overcomer. You know, in life, there are many things we will have to overcome. But it helps when we have someone greater on our, on our side. Someone that is well capable of helping us. Someone that is able to help us. He really is the overcomer, Jesus Christ. Really is the overcomer. And if He's living in us, then we can be overcomers also. And so let's look to God in prayer. We'll ask God's blessing upon this message. And I just preach for a little while. I just want to share the Word of God with you. Maybe it will encourage you in some way to not lose heart, but to trust in God. Let's look to God in prayer. We can ask Marvin to pray. I can see him online there, but nevertheless, I'll do the praying for tonight. 
Uh, Heavenly Father, we're thankful tonight for this time to, uh, to look to your word. We ask God for your blessing. Lord Jesus, I just love you and I appreciate you. And I'm grateful and thankful for everything that you have done in my life. I appreciate your kindness, your mercy. I appreciate your blessings. I thank you, God, for each and every one that will worship with us tonight online as we're doing this on, on or this live stream. I ask God that you will bless it, accomplish your will through it. Use it for your glory tonight. In Jesus' name I ask these things. Amen. Amen. I'm preaching about the overcomer. He said, Preacher, why are you in a suit and a tie and you're at home? Well, I just feel more comfortable preaching in a suit. It has nothing to do with anything. <laughs> I just feel comfortable preaching. But, just to let you know, you got a suit and a tie on, but no socks, no shoes. So, <laughs> I'm not fully clothed, I guess, but I'm in my right mind, so <laughs> let's have church anyways, right? So why no shoes? Because I am from a foreign country and you don't wear shoes in, in the house. I don't know what you folks do, but that's just not the case. Shoes are for outside, right? <laughs> it's not because the ground is holy. As God told Moses, take off his shoes for the ground where the house stands is holy. That's not it. <laughs> it's just, I'm home. Well, let's look to God. Let's look to the Word of God. We're talking about the overcomer. And he said there in our text, chapter 4, verse 4, he said, Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And so he showed us something there. Number one, he said, already put a title on us as Christians. He said, we have overcome them. He's not saying that we will or we may, but he said we already have. And the reason for that is because of who lives in us. The Christ that is in us, He is the overcomer. I'm preaching about the overcomer, Jesus Christ. The one that died on the cross and rose again from the dead. He overcame death. He overcame hell. The Bible said he, His soul was punished in hell for our sins. And we know that when someone goes to hell, if someone dies, lost without God and they go to hell, there is no coming back, there is no escape from that. But Jesus overcame it. He came back. After three days, the Bible said He rose from the dead. And he, and he came out of that grave. And He said, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. And He shows us the power that raised Jesus from the dead. The one that gave Him the ability to come alive after being dead for three days and three nights. That power that, that raised Jesus Christ from the dead, the Bible said that same Spirit can quicken our mortal body. That same Spirit can help you and I to be overcomers. If Jesus can overcome death, hell, the grave, overcome temptation, when He was tempted in the wilderness, He overcame it. Satan had no hold on Jesus. And if Satan doesn't have any hold on Jesus, if he can bring Christ down, if he can keep him back, if he can stop him, then rest assured, as a child of God, he cannot stop us either. And so that's the, the message I'm preaching to you about tonight, the overcomer. Who is the overcomer? Christ Jesus. And if he's living in you, then he has made you already and overcome. You just have to trust God. You just have to trust God. You say, well, preacher, I'm, I'm dealing with a lot of things in my life. A lot of struggles, a lot of battles. Sometimes bad news comes to us when we're already down. When we're already discouraged. When we feel like we can't, uh, like all, like the weight of the world is upon our, our shoulder and things are pressing us down. Sometimes that's the time bad news comes and, 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 and the enemy uses that to bring us down and to push us down even lower. But as a child of God, you have to remember that you are an overcomer because of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the one that will give you the ability to deal with all your problems, with all your, your physical ailments, 
with all your strength, you say, well, God hasn't healed me yet. Well, what is the reason behind that? Well, I don't know. But He's with you if you're, if you're a believer. And you may be going through the valley of the shadow of death. Maybe in your mind you think this is it. Maybe in your mind you think, you know what, uh, I am done, it's over with, I, uh, I am, uh, uh, this is bringing me down. But why don't you remember who lives in you? The overcomer lives in you. Jesus, the resurrected Savior, lives in you. And He is the overcomer. And as long as you let Christ live in you and through you, you can be an overcomer also. You see, this title has already been assigned to us. All we have to do is accept it and live it out. An overcomer is someone who succeeds in dealing with or gaining control of some, some kind of problem or difficulty. An overcomer, we can say, is one that has conquered, someone who has won the victory. A winner, someone who won against all odds. There are so many things that were stacked against them, but somehow they surfaced to the top and walk away with the victory. We can say that person is an overcomer. And so, as a child of God, you're looking at yourself you're like, man, you know, I got to deal with this and I got to deal with that. Why are all these things against me? And it's easy to have that kind of a mentality. Why are all these things against me? Well, sometimes we have to stop and realize, you know, yes, there may be a lot of things against us, but the greater one is for us. And that's what the, that's what the apostle was trying to drive home the point here in our text. He said, don't believe every spirit. Don't believe every lying report. Don't believe every discouraging, uh, 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 every discouraging thought. Don't believe every negative things that you have heard. Uh, look to Jesus. <laughs> look to the one who rose from the dead. Look to the one who came back to life with power saying, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. And even though you go through the valley of the shadow of death, look to that one that is able to bring you through it also. He said, Don't, he said test or try the spirit to see whether they are of God. He said, for many false prophets are gone out into the world and they are all these spirits that, that wants to discourage people and bring Christians down and try to get to manipulate your mind to think, think in ways that God doesn't want you to think. And you as a child of God have to come to this realization that you are an overcomer if Jesus is living in you. You are an overcomer if Christ is living in you. He said there, he said, beloved, he said, he said, ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. We know the spirit that is working in the world, the spirit that is working in the children of disobedience. He is destroying people, he's destroying uh, men and women, his He's messing with their mind and making them discouraged and causing them to do all kind of crazy things. But as a child of God, the Bible tells us that the one who lives in us is greater. Jesus is the overcomer. And man, if I have an overcomer living in me, if I have the Spirit of Christ living in me, if I have the, the power of God that is given to us by His Holy Spirit living in me, that tells me that I am an overcomer also. I can rise above these things. I can overcome the difficulties, the challenges, the battles, or anything that come, that come my way. I can overcome it because of who lives in me. Don't underestimate the Spirit of God that dwells in you. Don't ever underestimate the power of God that lives in you. Trust in Jesus Christ. He is your salvation. He is your victory. He is your power. He is your shield. He is your provider. He is the one that will sustain you in times of weaknesses, and times of sickness, and times of troubles, and times of problems. God Almighty will sustain you. You have Christ in you as a child of God. He said in 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, He said, And without controversy... 
Great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifested in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, received up into glory. Knowing these truths about Jesus is what makes us overcomers. The first thing that we know about Jesus is he is God. Timothy, uh, Paul, right to Timothy, he said, Great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifested in the flesh. Jesus in the flesh. God in the flesh. And so he's letting us know if we can fully understand the mystery of godliness, that this spirit that lives in us when we got saved, when we become a Christian, is a spirit of the living God. If we can really bring ourselves to understand this fact, that the spirit that dwells in us is a powerful spirit, is an overcoming spirit, is a spirit of victory, is a spirit that will give us the ability to rise and to be strong in every situation, then that's what makes us overcomers also. I'm so grateful tonight for Jesus Christ. The knowledge to understand that Jesus lives in me. Tonight, if you feel in any way, I don't know who I'm preaching to tonight, uh, or whoever will hear this message, but if you feel any way discouraged, I challenge you, lift up your eyes and look to Jesus. If you feel a little bit down tonight for the things that are coming against you, the problems, the, the, the ailments and all the stuff that come against you, I challenge you tonight, lift up your eyes and look to Jesus. Lift up your eyes and look to the one that is able to help you. And so we find throughout the scripture people, the Apostle Paul writing once again, he said, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. In the Psalms, he said, I will lift up mine eyes into the hills from whence cometh my help. He said, my help cometh from the Lord. And so we understand that this one, this spirit that lives in us, this God that dwells in our heart, that the one that overcame all odds, the one that, that where the world was against him and everything was against him, but yet he prospered. Yet he, he came out victorious. The Bible said he rose from the dead and he set all his enemy to an open shame, triumphing over them. Can you imagine when Jesus came out of that tomb, all the evil, all the wicked spirits, they watched on and they're like, oh my goodness, we thought we got rid of him. We thought that we will never see him again. We thought that when we put him in that tomb, we killed him, we put him in the tomb, that would be the end. But now he came out of the grave. He rose in victory. He walked out and there is no stopping him now. He made a declaration. Maybe he was declaring not just to the disciples, but to all the demons out there, all the evil, wicked spirit, when he said, all power is given given unto me in heaven and in earth. That's the declaration of Jesus Christ. He has or he have all power and that the same God that lives in you. That's what the apostle was trying to tell them. He said, yes, we understand that there is all kind of spirits out there, all kind of wicked spirits that want to destroy and discourage people. He said, but greater is he that lives in me. Greater is the one that dwells in my life. Greater is the one that's in my heart. Greater is the one that lives in my mind than the spirits of the world. Jesus Christ is greater. He is the victorious one. He is the overcomer. He is the conqueror. And that's the one that lives in me. And so I'm preaching about the overcomer. We got the overcomer living in us. We have the Spirit of God. We have that powerful Wonderful, loving Spirit of God lives in us, and that's what makes us overcomer. Greater is He that is in you. God living in me. When someone gives their life to Jesus, not only does He wash away their sins, but He said that He will come and He will dwell in us. That's a wonderful thing tonight, to understand that, to understand that the Spirit of God lives in you. That's powerful. That's wonderful. He said in John 14, 23, 
Jesus answered and said unto him, If any man love me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him, and we will come and make our abode in him. God, Jesus said, I and the Father will come. We will live in you. These overcomers, the one that overcome death, hell, and the grave, will come and live in me. That makes me an overcomer. So preacher, what, who gives you the victory? Jesus. Who saved you from sin? Jesus. Who is the one that, that helps you when you're down? Jesus. Who is the one that lifts you, lift you up and give you the courage to keep on going from day to day? <laughs> Jesus. He is my victory. He is my salvation. He is the rock upon which I stand. He is my solid foundation. He is the one that lifts me up every single day. I am grateful tonight for the overcomer that lives in me. You said, do I have to give in to all these things, all sin and temptation and all these uh, things that come and, and all these thoughts in my mind? No, you don't. No, you don't. But, well, well, I got this bad news. Do I need to dwell on it? Why don't you take it to God in prayer? He said, what, what needless pain we bear. You know, what, uh, what, what peace we often forfeit. What needless pain we bear. All because we don't carry everything to Jesus in prayer. You know, God gave us an opportunity to pray. To tap into the Spirit. To, to tap into the power of God. To, 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 to let that, that, that Spirit that lives in us work in us. Amen? Sometimes we know that Christ lives in us, but we don't let Him work in us. As Paul said, the life that I live, I live by the Spirit of God, the Spirit of, of the Son of God that lives, that works, that's living and working in me. A lot of times people understand the fact that God is living in them. They understand that uh, through salvation, Jesus comes in. They understand that when they give their life to God, that the Spirit of God lives in them, but they don't give that Spirit a chance to work. He said the same Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead shall quicken our mortal body. That same Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead will give you the power that you need. The same Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead will give you the ability to do what God wants you to do. The same Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead can take away your doubts and your fears and your battles that you think is so big and so strong. The same Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead, um, that Spirit of victory and overcoming power, that same Spirit that, lived, that raised Jesus from the dead will cause you to live the life that God wants you to, to live. And so when you, have, when you understand who lives in you, when you understand the one that dwells in your heart, that spirit, that's what gives us the ability to say, you know what, uh, beloved, he said in, in, in verse 4, ye are of God little children and have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. I'm so thankful tonight that I do not have to be worried about all the false spirits that are working in the world. All I need to do is focus on the spirit that is working in me. Amen. I don't have to worry about Satan. I don't have to worry about evil spirits doing this and wicked spirits doing that. I focus on the spirit that is in me. He said, you walk in the spirit, you will have fellowship with the spirit. And he said, you will be a son of God. You will be a child of God if you walk in the spirit. He said, you will not fulfill the the desires or the lust of the flesh. And so what spirit do I focus on? The one that is in me. Amen. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. He, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. We need to focus on the spirit that lives in us. He said, ye have overcome all these spirits of the world. These lying spirits, discouraging spirits, deceiving spirits. So how do I overcome them? How do I overcome them? By focusing on the overcomer. Looking unto Jesus. Focusing on Jesus. Set your eyes on the shepherd. It is said in bank, 
and and and, and when they train people in in, a, in to to do a, like a, working in a bank, a teller or something like that, he said they always give them. I don't know if they still do, but uh, at least back in the days, uh, it was sure that that they that all the while they are in their training, they never let them handle any counterfeit money. They just let them handle the real money, the real dollar bill, the real hundred dollar bill, the real twenty dollar bill. They just over and over throughout the whole training, they were teaching them how to, to spot these counterfeit stuff. But throughout their whole training, they only give them the real money to handle. And the reason for that is because they wanted them to become so familiar with the real money that as soon as a counterfeit one come across the counter, they will recognize it. And that's what I'm talking about tonight. That's exactly what I'm talking about tonight. Is uh, He said, greater is he that is in me. If us as Christians can focus on the spirit that lives in us, walk with that spirit, fellowship with that spirit, become so in tune with the spirit of God. He said, we want, we want uh, uh, all these spirits that are working in this world will have no hold on us. We know all the discouragement comes from the enemy and, and, and doubts and fears and lies and all these things come from the evil, wicked spirits. But if we can just focus on the spirit that lives in us, that overcomer, if we can focus on Christ, we also can be overcomers. And we'll close it out with that for tonight. I'm only on page three. I got two more, three more pages to go. <laughs> but that's enough for tonight. My wife told me before I go, she said, I have to be eternal to be immortal. So <laughs> we'll shut it down. <laughs> but I just want to share that with you tonight. So what do I focus on to be an overcomer? Well, focus on the overcomer. Jesus overcame death, hell, the grave, temptation, battle, Satan, evil spirit, they had nothing in him. He said, the, the spirit of this world cometh and he has, or the prince of this world cometh and he have nothing in me. Right? Satan had nothing on Jesus, nothing in Jesus. He could not do anything to Jesus. And so, if Christ overcame and his spirit lives in me, then all I have to do is focus on his spirit. Fellowship with His Spirit. Become familiar with the Spirit of God. And when that lie comes, you can say, uh -uh, get thee behind me, Satan. When those doubts come, you say, no, get thee behind me, Satan. When all those fearful thoughts come your way, you can say, get thee behind me, Satan, because greater is the Spirit that is living in me than all these wicked, de devilish spirits of the world. Jesus is the overcomer. And that spirit of Christ is living in you as a child of God, as a Christian. And so let that spirit make you an overcomer also. And if you don't, you say, well, what about me? What, what, what preacher, I'm, I'm listening to you and I'm not a Christian. And I'm defeated by sin. I'm defeated by the devil and all this stuff. How can I become an overcomer? It's very simple. Jesus died on the cross for your sins. And He rose again from the dead. We talked about it tonight. He rose from the dead. And if you will humble yourselves and turn your life to Christ and say, Lord, I want to be an overcomer also. And you confess your sins to Him and ask Him to forgive you. He will. Be genuine. Be sincere. And He will forgive you. And then invite Him into your life to become your personal Lord and Savior. And when you do that, that spirit of victory that, over, that spirit that, that raised Jesus from the dead will come and live in you. Or I should, I should say the spirit of Christ and of the Father will come and live in you. And he will make you an overcomer also. You can be an overcomer with God's help. Hey God bless you all. Sorry there's no music for tonight. Our heater should be fixed today or tomorrow. And uh, Lord willing we'll be back in church Sunday morning. 9.30. Join us if you can. Pray for us. Have a blessed week. And may the Lord continue to help you to overcome in all things. Father, I just want to give you glory and praise tonight. Thank you for all your blessings. Thank you for making us overcomers. Lord, we worship you. We praise you. We magnify you. Bless and accomplish your will in all of our lives. Help us to understand that we have overcome them. Those wicked spirits. 
because of the one that lives in us. Have your way tonight, I pray in all things. We give you glory and honor and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. May God bless you all. Stay safe. May the snow melt and the sun shine again. Amen.